Hey y'all and welcome to How Do You Cook? Back to Basics. I know it's been a minute since I've seen all y'all and thank y'all for coming and joining me on today's episode. I got in the mail two packages, well actually one package and one envelope. I guess it's a letter in the mail and I'm going to open those on today's episode. But before we do that, I'm going to share with you all how to make a tropical ambrosia salad. Now, the recipe is on the back of this Jet Puff Fun Mellow package. It's on the back right here. It's in the red. Now, it doesn't ask to add any cherries, but since I like a little bit of color in my ambrosia salad, I'm going to put some of those in there. It doesn't ask for it. But I'm going to put them in there anyway. This salad, y'all, can be made however you want it to be made. You can change things up. If you don't like sour cream, you can add um, vanilla yogurt instead of the sour cream. Now, today we're going to do it with the sour cream and with all the ingredients that's on the back, plus the cherries. First thing I want to do is share with you the ingredients you will need. You will need two cups of the Jet Puffed Fun Mellows, miniature marshmallows. Um, the flavors that are in here are orange, strawberry, lemon, and lime. That's what that looks like up close there. And you will need one banana. We're going to slice this up. One eight ounce can of mandarin oranges. Now you'll want to drain all of your fruit. Make sure you get every bit of the water out of your fruit. On the package it says you'll need one cup of fresh seedless orange sections, but instead I'm gonna use an eight ounce can of mandarin oranges instead because I love mandarin oranges and it's just easy. Now it's asking for one eight ounce can of pineapple chunks. Now, I could not find an eight ounce can, so I measured out one cup of pineapple chunks because eight ounces equals one cup of um, pineapples. So I did that there, and I have some maraschino cherries here, and I'm, I'm gonna add a few of those, and I'm gonna add too many. You'll need a half of a cup of sour cream, and you will need some shredded coconut. And this recipe asks that you toast your coconut, but we're not gonna add this until later on in the recipe. So we're just gonna set this aside and we'll bring this back in when we're ready to use it. Okay, so I told you all that this is the simplest recipe ever. So we're gonna start adding our fruit and I'm gonna, I'm taking a spoon that has little holes in it because I wanna make sure that I don't get any water into my bowl. Instead of dumping it in here, I want to get make sure I don't get all of the water in there because there's always going to be water in your um, mandarin oranges. And I did drain these really well, but as you can see, there's still some juice in there. So we have our mandarin oranges in here. And we're going to put our pineapple chunks in here. See? Still more water. Now I'm going to slice up our banana and put this in here. Some of these I think are too thick, so I'm just going to make them a little smaller. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to add some of my cherries. I think that's about it. There's really no measurement on the cherries because I decided to add them after the fact. So now we're going to add our sour cream. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And our marshmallows. There's one cup. There's two cups. 
All right, I got everything out. So now we're just gonna fold all of these ingredients. Now I wanted to tell you, the recipe states that after we mix all of these ingredients together, that we need to put this in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes. And then we can take it out of the refrigerator, add our coconut, and then we're ready to serve. It has been 15 minutes since I put our ambrosia salad in the refrigerator. So now we are gonna add our toasted coconut. Now this is one cup of coconut, um, shredded coconut. And we're just gonna give this a good toss around and get it um, evenly distributed throughout the salad. Then we're gonna plate it up and serve it. Okay, it is taste test time. This is what our ambrosia salad looks like. Now, I'm gonna give this a try. I'm gonna get one of them cherries in there too. Bite for y'all, bite for me. Mmm. Mmm, this is very good. Mmm. I'm just gonna keep eating it. Y'all, this is delicious. You can't even tell that there's sour cream in this. The, it's like the perfect amount of sweet and tart. You can't even tell there's sour cream in this thing. This is good, y'all. I think this is gonna be my lunch today. <laughs> Now it's time to open up your letters in your packages. So first one I'm gonna open up is, let me see. I'm gonna open up the package first. This package right here. This one is from Ricky P. Thank you so much for sending this my way. I am so excited to open this. I got so excited when I opened up my mailbox and there were packages in there. Y'all, it just takes a simple little letter and I get excited. It's the little things. Okay, so we're gonna open this up. I'm so excited. Hmm. Okay, see if there's anything else in there. And there's not, I got it all out. Okay. So, Ricky P sent me a book called The Great Controversy. Thank you so much for sending this to me, Ricky. And I will be checking into this, y'all. I am so excited. Now I have a letter from, I'm not sure who. Um, it just says two friends. So I'm gonna open this up and see what this is. Okay, let's see. I think this is just spam mail right here. <laughs> this is hilarious. Somebody sent me a copy of a giant $100 bill. This is spam mail, y'all. Spam. So if y'all want to send something to me, um... If y'all want to send something to me and let me open up your letters or packages or whatever you want to send, if you if you do, that's your choice. I will open up everyone's packages on this channel and I won't skip anyone. So y'all, 
I want to thank you so much for watching today's episode on how do you cook back to basics and letting me show you how to make a tropical ambrosia salad. So I hope you enjoyed this episode on how do you cook back to basics. And if you did, please hit that like button and please do consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already done so. Until next time, y'all. Bye-bye now.